Tonight has been a little bit of a rough night for me. And um, maybe, maybe this is one of those things that I should keep to myself, but um, I, I guess I just thought that it would be good to see that I'm I'm not bubbly and positive a hundred percent of the time and also maybe I'm just kind of using this as like my own brand of talk therapy for tonight um, So I have been doing the uh, walk one mile a day challenge for like the past 30 days. Actually it's been more than the past 30 days. Um, but this past week I added on some Taibo kickboxing because pretty much all of the Taibo stuff is on YouTube so it's really easy to access. and. I had only been doing like 5 to 15 minutes of it and I was doing okay. And tonight I decided, what the heck, I'm just going to try and do the full video. And I couldn't. I could barely get to like 13 minutes, I think is where I started. I am just so angry at myself for for letting myself get to this point but by the same token I'm proud of myself because it was like okay that's fine I will just I'll just switch and I'll do my walk away the pounds video and I'll just do a longer one of those videos and I did and that's why I look disgusting right now is because it just got done working out sorry this is not usual for me I don't I don't cry a lot <laughs> Anyways, I, I couldn't do it because of my knee. And for those of you who don't know, uh, earlier this year I fell and I hurt my knee really bad to the point that it took like over three months to even be able to completely straighten it. It makes it really difficult to do things like squats or lunch, uh, lunges or really anything where it requires a lot of strength in your knees and to like, and it's not like painful, like, oh my gosh, I need to go and have it looked at right now, but it's painful to the point where I'm like, I know that I can't push it because I don't want to make it worse. And 
I know that it's ridiculous, but there's just that. that nagging thought in the back of my head that I'm never going to be able to work out like I did last time when I lost a bunch of weight. And I loved working out back then. I loved weightlifting. I loved doing the plyometrics, the burpees, the jump squats, the lunges, all of it. And I'm, I'm, I'm scared I won't be able to get back to that point. And obviously the therapist side of me is going, Laura, calm the frick down. Like, look at the evidence. Be rational. Right now you weigh like 360-ish pounds. Like, that's a lot of weight bearing down on that knee. And as you lose weight, it's going to get easier. And even if I didn't have my old knee injury flaring up, I'm still morbidly obese. And working out is not going to be comfortable for a while. But then the pissed off version of me just wants to punch my inner therapist in the face with a chair. So right now I am just feeling a lot of things. I am feeling angry and guilty and ashamed and pissed off and annoyed. And that's okay. You know, emotions are emotions. They're never wrong, but and now that I'm recognizing these emotions and I'm recognizing these thoughts that I have and acknowledging them and validating them, now all that's left is where do I go from here? And that's the important part. And even though tonight my motivation is shot, I am dedicated 100% to reaching my goals. And so I'm just going to keep on trucking on and I'm going to keep doing my walking for now. And I know that the only thing that scares me is that I know from the past that my body adapts fast and I have to change up my workout routine regularly in order for it to continue being effective. But I also know that it's not just the type of workout that you can change. It can also be intensity, frequency, duration. So I'm going to try and bump up maybe like the frequency and the duration, intensity if I can. So that I can just try and avoid my body adapting too easily to it. And then I'll just kind of maybe do some research on some other low impact workouts that I can try. I think on YouTube, I think it's Body Project has a bunch of low impact workouts that maybe I'll give a shot and we'll see. At least until the point that I get to where the pain doesn't worry me anymore. So that's my plan.
Okay. I'm calming down a little bit now. I had my moment. And I think that I am going to go jump in the shower and blast my happy playlist so I can hopefully go to bed in a better mood. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard that quote that you should never go to bed angry with your partner. Well, that's what I try to do, only it's I try to never go to bed angry with myself because I'm single and that's the only practice I'm getting right now. So before I get off for tonight, um, I just want to say to you guys that it's okay to feel negative, to have negative emotions, to have negative thoughts. What matters is how you respond to those and how you move forward from them. So this is just the therapist in me saying, acknowledge them, validate them, and then let them go and move on. And I know that a lot of people won't be able to kind of work through it as fast as I just did. And believe me, I haven't completely worked through it right now. Um, but just knowing that I, I've had a lot of practice because if I don't practice what I preach, then I'm not a good therapist. So yeah, just know that it's okay. It's okay to have bad nights, bad days, bad weeks, bad months. Well, okay, that might be pushing it a little bit. And also know that emotions are never wrong. And negative thoughts only have the power over us that we give them. So just acknowledge them and validate them and use your coping skills. Reach out for support if needed. And I think that I have decided officially I definitely want to do some mental health and weight loss related videos in the near future. So be looking for those. Um, yeah. Anyways, okay guys, so I'm not going to say if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, but, um, but if you can relate to this video and you're interested in more videos specifically around mental health and weight loss in the future, please make sure to subscribe and like this video and make sure to tap on the notification bell so you can join me next time. Good night, everyone. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I just wanted to do a super quick check-in and let you know that I am feeling so much better this morning. Um, last night, I just used my coping skills. I took a hot shower, blasted my music, performed some really poor shower karaoke, and then I watched some of my favorite YouTubers that always make me happy and boost my mood, and I ended the night by just reading some of your guys' comments that you've left me on my videos so far, and that I think helped the most. And then I woke up to this amazing comment from Caring for Sarah on my Instagram, saying that I had inspired her to start posting some of her own weight loss journey, and that just melted my heart. So shout out to you, Sarah. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling a lot better this morning and a lot more positive. Still not the most motivated, but again, I'm dedicated and that's what matters. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.